Why would you turn your back on me while I'm talking to you? The same reason you turned your back on me when we were married. You see, things like that, that is exactly why things didn't work out. No, they didn't work out because you didn't try, Jay. No, things didn't work out because we were young and needed to mature, which I see you're still having a challenge with right now. I'm done talking to you. Well, that's just great. Then it's settled. Zoe moves in with me. No, she doesn't have okay. to move in. She has a place to stay. Wait, 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 what, what, what do you call you it, a place? You two can't just, I don't know what, get along? Look, it's just simple. Mom, I love you, but I'm moving in with Dad. All right. And Dad, I love you too, but you know, I'm 16, and you can't treat me like a child anymore. I'm a teenager. I have a boyfriend. His name is Stonehenge, and you're probably not going to like him, so there. Stonehenge? Mm-hmm. So that means you, your boyfriend's named after a landmark? No. <laughs> More like... More like a wonder of the world because mm. he is simply oh. what? wonderful. Uh. Just... Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Thank you for sharing that. You see, this is why she's moving in with me. You let her get away with way too much. You know what? If you think you can do a better job, have at it. Okay, please. okay, dad, dad, dad. Can you just let me talk to mom for a second, please? Please. All right, I'm going to get a refill. Okay. Mom, come here, come here. Okay, so, you know I love you, right? Mm-hmm. Well, if you love me so much, then how come you taking his side? I'm not taking anybody's side. I just think it's time I live with him for a while. You did just get remarried, and you need time with your new husband. You know, not to mention, experts do say that the newlywed phase is very important for a successful marriage, so... What experts have you been listening to? <laughs> the ones on reality TV that the housewives never listen to. Zoe, I told you about watching that mess on TV. Mom, I have learned a lot of valuable lessons from reality TV, so. Really? <laughs> like what? I don't know, you know, like, gossiping is bad. Uh-huh. And not everyone who says they're your friend really is, Wait so. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. I, your mama, taught you that stuff, remember? Okay. Yes, yes, well, I'm your kid, so you don't really, like, expect me to believe anything you say, do you? <laughs> I'm <What>? serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Your father can be such a stubborn jerk sometimes. Come on, Ma, you know I don't like it when you talk about Dad like well, that. Well, I'm sorry if you don't want to hear the truth. Well, then how could you fall for such a stubborn jerk? It happens. <laughs> then how, how am I supposed to know it won't happen to me? Zoe. Now, look, you don't need to worry about that right now, okay? You're too young. Okay. You know, Mom, I really don't think Dad is that bad. And he has always been great to me. Yeah, he has. He has been. I'll admit that. So, I mean, yeah. if he is any of the things you say he is, let me just find out for myself. All Please. right. If you really want to stay here, I will allow it. But it's only going to be for a year, and then we're going to reevaluate next year based on what those grades look Mom, like. Mom, you are just acting like Dad is going to let me run wild. You know, if you think he is so bad, why did you marry him in the first place? Oh, because he was in a band. But that's before right. I exercised good judgment. <laughs> OK, well, Stonehenge is in a band. He's actually a drummer, so. And that's exactly why you're not going to date him. Oh, Ma, come on. Can you do oh, that? Oh, no. Oh, this is who you want to live with. Listen, baby girl, guys in bands are bad news. OK, but you were in a band, weren't you? No, I was more in, like, a rap group. What? What? OK, so that's worse. You know that, right? What? what, what no, we were clean, wholesome rap group. <laughs> Your name was MC Pesticide. <laughs> that's because I was, you know, uh, uh, killing all the unwanted pests in the streets. OK. Oh, that's okay. right. Don't, don't act like, oh, so now you're going to act like you don't know? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a metaphor. Oh, OK. So did, like, metaphor mean, I don't know, a corny back in the 80s? <laughs> it was the 90s, and I was the bomb. OK, the bomb. <laughs> OK, right. OK. Dad, you are really going to need some sort of dictionary to help you translate all of your old man metaphors. So. Oh, old man. OK, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm just, I'm going to go unpack, yeah, so. Think, oh, hey, hey, wait a minute, wait. Aren't you forgetting something? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Daddy. Mm, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Mm. All right. Stonehenge. <laughs> ah, listen. I appreciate you letting her move in with us. I'm only and, agreeing to do and this. And let's let's kind of agree to not argue like this. All right? 
She begged me to stay here, which is the only reason why I'm agreeing to do this. But what I can't figure out is what the sudden change is all about in her. I don't know. Maybe she just misses her father. No, that ain't it. <laughs> I mean, why now? Jasmine, you did just get married, right? Maybe she really does want to give you some space. Jay, you've been involved, but I have raised Zoe for the last 10 years, and I know my daughter. Our daughter. Our teenager. Mm. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. It's not as easy as what you think. Mm. She has a curfew, and I don't okay. want you buying her a car. Uh, well, what? Who, who, I mean, who, who said anything about buying her a car? She did. What? Oh, you have no idea what you're getting into. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Try to run on me. <laughs> yep. So I'll be going to Northside next year. Yeah, I know it'll be weird not seeing everyone, but hey, life is supposed to be about change, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What's up? Uh, excuse you. Uh... Oh, can I call you back? Okay. Can I help you with something? I believe it's may I help you with something, and yes, you may. Okay, <laughs> what do you want, Wesley? Look, I know we're gonna be housemates now, so let me start by laying some ground rules, okay? Oh, ground rules. You, you know what? I think that would be a great idea. First things first, do not enter my room without knocking. Well, if you want some privacy, then close your door. Open door is an invitation, all right? Rule number one, my friends, they're my friends, okay? You cannot date or hang out with any of them. <laughs> okay, why would I date any of your loser friends? See, I have a boyfriend. Cool, good, perfect, even better. Okay, and you, know you can't talk to any of my friends. Not that they would date you anyway, so. I'm good, now, look. Pay attention. Rule number two. School is like Vegas. What happens in Vegas, it stays there, okay? Great. Got a really good system working here. I don't want to ruin it. Well, neither do I. Look, I know how baby sisters can be. <laughs> Wesley, I am one year younger than you. And since boys mature at half the rate of girls, then technically that would make me five years older. Yeah, okay. You got any studs over there? Uh, why? I lost my nose ring. Oh, no. Nah. You are not putting my earring in your crusty nose. I don't well, studs. Come on, I need one tonight for the lockup. Oh, you're going to the lockup tonight? Well, isn't Collision playing? What do you know about Collision? I know plenty about them. You happen to be looking at the drummer's girlfriend, so. Whatever. I'm serious. So you're not into the music? I know plenty about the music. Oh, name a song. Uh. Yeah, exactly. OK, look, I'm going with you tonight, OK? Oh, no, you're not. Yes, look, if Dad thinks I'm going with you, then he won't say anything, see? Oh, I see. You need me. Fine, Wesley. I need you. Now, let me get that stud right uh -uh, there. Uh-uh, no, no. Well, then, hey, Zoe, I guess I, psst, that's just me, solo. I gotta just go alone. It's... Fine, no, wait, here. Just take on. Now, final rule. When we go out tonight, no one is to know you're my sister, OK? You're just some sad, unpopular girl. <laughs> OK. That I just got into the club. OK, you know, whatever you say. Here. Hold up, I only need one of these. Uh, but I need two, and I'm not putting that one back into my ear after your nose fungus has been on it, so. <laughs> Welcome to the house. Get out. I got it. Listen, I just wanted to drop off the rest of your things before I went out of town. Where are you going? Dwayne and I are going away for the weekend. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see how nice it is not to have to worry about me? Zoe, you are my child, and I will always worry about you. Okay. <laughs> but it is kind of nice. <laughs> so, how you doing? Fine. Yeah? Yep. You adjusting OK? Ma, it has only been like four days. And mm -hmm. yes, everything's been fine. Oh, you know that um, summer program that's supposed to be started next week? Uh-huh. Aaliyah just signed me up for it, so we're good. Aaliyah? Mm hmm Well, why didn't your dad do it? I guess he was working. Listen, Zoe. Listen, Zoe. 
Now, I know that you and Aaliyah haven't always gotten along, okay? But if she does anything that's out of order, you let me know, okay? Because I don't want her putting hands on you. Okay, Mom, look, I was 10 then. I'm 16 now, and I do not get spankings anymore, so it's fine. Well, don't forget who your mother is. You might be living here now, but that doesn't mean that she can boss you around. Okay. okay. Living here? Oh, hey, Aaliyah. Jasmine. Zoe, could you excuse us for a minute, please? Oh, yep. Thanks. Oh, hello! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Girl, you mind. <laughs> All right, Mom, love you. Have a good trip. OK. Yeah, Aaliyah, can you make this quick? Because I'm kind of in a rush. Oh, sure. So. <laughs> I just heard what you said and wanted to assure you that I have never mistreated Zoe. Well, I have never put my hands on my daughter, so I don't really appreciate the way you discipline. Well, as long as she's living here, she has to abide by our rules, plain and simple. Well, just remember that she's not your daughter. Well, not biologically, but I treat her as though she's my own. And therefore, I will discipline as though she's my own. Put your hands on my daughter, and I'm gonna put hands on you. So you are not gonna come in here disrespecting me. What's wrong, Aaliyah? You can't talk to hey, a Well, maybe if I were talking to a woman, oh, really? then I hope you ain't gonna talk to me. Like... What is all this noise going on out here? If y'all make my souffle fall, I'm gonna sit you both down. <laughs> Aaliyah? Nothing, Ma. Nothing? Jasmine? Nothing, Miss Turner. <clears throat> Nothing. But yet you both stand out here with your lips all puckered out like you've been sucking on lemons. <laughs> What's going on? Jasmine doesn't feel that Zoe should listen to me because I'm not her mother, which is asinine. <sighs> I don't agree with her parenting style. And you know what? You can throw around them $20 words if you want to, but if you call me out my name again, there's going to be a problem. I didn't okay? call you asinine. I said that your mama was asinine. Stop, stop it! Stop, stop, it. stop it right now! Stop it right now! This is crazy. There ain't no shame in my game. Well, there should be. You two are acting like children. Sit down. I said sit down. <sighs> Malia, you go first. What kind of example are you setting for Zoe? Seeing her, her mom and her stepmom argue like housewives of the mob bachelorette? <laughs> Child, you know what I'm talking about. This is just ridiculous. Now, you've been with Jay for six years. It's about time that you all stop arguing and learn how to get along. I can't talk to her. I can't talk to her. Well, if y'all listen, talking would be easier. Now, I normally don't get in grown folks' business. But since you're acting like kids, I'm gonna treat you like kids. Now, look at each other. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Aaliyah, you go first. She doesn't respect me. It's not that. I don't like your parenting style. How many times do I have to tell you that? Let God, her what... talk. Let her talk. All right. She's still upset because I spanked Zoe when she was 10, and I didn't ask for permission. Is that true? I don't even spank my daughter. Hmm, well, that might be your problem. <laughs> Hush. She should have asked, or at least had her dad handle it. Zoe's 16. So you're mad about something that happened six years ago? Uh-uh. There's got to be more to it than that. She thinks she's better than me. Zoe said that she heard her say that Jay upgraded when he married her. You shouldn't have said that in front of my daughter, even if that is how you felt. Is that true? <laughs> it sure is. See? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. It's that smug look on her face. And I don't want my daughter thinking that kind of attitude is OK. You have every right to be mad, baby. Thank you. But you also got to realize that you cannot let Aaliyah drag you down to that level of childishness. If you do that, baby, you only prove her point. Aaliyah, when you met Jay, you didn't have a job or a place to live. Now, is that an upgrade? Mm. Uh huh? Whose side are you on? Zoe's. Together, you two could be a shining example of what womanhood is all about. But like this, you're killing her perception, and it's got to stop right now, and I mean right now. I shouldn't have said what I did in front of Zoe. You shouldn't have said it at all. And you need to respect my marriage and stop asking Jay what he sees in me. Oh, you know about that? Yeah, I know about that. <laughs> I'm wondering what he saw in either one of you. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not wonderful women. What I'm saying is get it together. 
Aaliyah, when you married Jay, you married everything that came along with him, including Zoe and Jasmine. That's right. And Jasmine? Huh? Who you are has nothing to do with my daughter's opinion of you. Baby, just be a role model for Zoe, not Aaliyah. And talk to Jay about your issues. And let him deal with the things that's going on in his house. Now, I don't want to hear another peep out of either one of you. Deal? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Y'all hear that? That means that this therapy session is over. Now, go check on my souffle. <laughs> I'm tired. <clears throat> Y'all ain't going to worry me. Well, I'm going to go, and I'll call about Zoe later. Bye, Miss Turner. Call oh, any time, Jasmine. <laughs> Ma. Souffle. But Ma. Souffle. <laughs> I love you, Ma. Child, did my souffle fall? No, ma'am. <laughs> All right, then. I love you, too. <laughs> well, I guess you told them, huh? <laughs> How long you been eavesdropping? I don't know, long enough to know that you still got it, though. <laughs> I tell you what, you keep being nosy, I'm gonna give you some of what I still got. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you don't mean that. See, me and you, we've always been pretty cool. Mm, think so? Yeah. I mean, you are the only one who ever really listens to me, so. <laughs> Baby, sometimes parents get so caught up in their own issues, they forget who they're actually doing it all for. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we were all born selfish, right? And we have to learn benevolence and compassion, and some people just have a very slow learning curve, so. Mm. Where you get that from? You, Nana. <laughs> well, I guess we are cool. The coolest. <laughs> Give me some. I don't think so. Nana, come on. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Hey. Hey, babe. How you doing? You okay? I'm good. How was your day? Mm, great, great. You? Fine. Oh. Still don't understand why a 16-year-old isn't folding her own clothes. Hold on one second. I'll make this change. Zoe! Zoe! Jay, she and Wesley went to the mall. Oh, okay. Well, baby, just leave it. Uh, you know I can't stand for fresh, clean clothes to just lie around. All right. Look, I got it. Okay, no, no, no. I will help you out. Oh, she's pretty long now. So, when were you planning on telling me that Zoe was going to be here for the school year and not just the summer? Oh, I was, uh, I was planning to tell you tonight. No, I'm, I'm serious. This is just the first time that me and you have been able to get together since I've been working the long hours. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you think maybe you should have talked to me before you told her she could move in? Well, maybe she asked. And you still should have talked to me first. But would you have said no? Jay, that's not the point. Look, you didn't even consider what I might have said. On our first date, I told you that I had custody of my son, and I asked you whether or not that was going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. And I told you that I had a daughter that sometimes stays with me during the summers and weekends. Exactly. So if that agreement had changed, you should have informed me. Why didn't you inform me first? Because we're married. So what? Does that mean that you no longer have to consider my opinion because we're married? No, no, no. It just means that my daughter is now your daughter. You still should have asked, Jay. OK. OK? I'm sorry. Baby, I really would like Zoe to come stay with us until she graduates high school. Is that all right with you? Is it? Well, it's not like I can say no now. Why would you say no? <sighs> Jay, I wouldn't. But if I did, are you really going to tell her she has to go back home? Exactly. You're right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. You know what? I, not that you mention it, I read something, uh, an article in the paper today. It said that Steve was coming here to take a new sports anchor job. Is that true? Yeah, he called and told me. Hmm. So that means that he's going to be living here? Yep. Huh. So when were you planning on telling me? My plan was to tell you tonight. Hmm. <laughs> 
So does Wesley know that his father's here? No. I was gonna talk to Steve first and see if he's really gonna be here full time and see how involved he planned to be. Hmm. Well, he hasn't been involved since you two guys split up. That's... So why would that change now? Well, that's because he was living across the country. But now that he lives here, I don't know, who knows? Hmm. He and Wesley talk, he sends him money. <laughs> Look, Jay, uh, he wasn't able to have him during uh, summers because of training camp, but now that he's right. not playing anymore, who knows? I don't know what Steve intends on doing. Yeah, you always make excuses for him. No, I don't. I don't make any excuses for Steve. But Wesley idolizes his father despite everything that's happened. So I'm gonna talk to Steve first and make sure he doesn't get hurt. Sounds great, but I think we should both talk to him. Because I want to know, right? Hey, Mom. Hey, yo, what's up, Jay? What's going on, bro? Uh, you wouldn't believe who I saw at the mall today. Dad, he just moved here. Guess those plans are not working out as planned, huh? Where did you two get all of that stuff? Dad, he gave us his credit card. Oh, yeah. Okay, how come you never give me your credit card? Maybe because I don't have to do things to ease my guilty conscience. Uh-huh, point taken. Uh, you two, don't get too excited about this stuff because it'll probably have to go back. Mom, oh, look, don't make me take these back. Please, you know how much allowance I'd have to save up just to get these? Well, Wesley, why didn't you just come to us and ask us for the money for the sneakers? It costs over $100. Brother, I'm so glad that you didn't involve us in that. Baby, there's a lot of rules for this. I don't have to take my stuff. Oh, wait a minute. And well, why is Steve buying you anything? Well, he said he didn't want me to feel bad leaving empty handed, so he told me to shop too. Oh, you see? That's exactly why I need to talk to Steve first. He always gets him excited about stuff and then lets him down. Uh, Dad, I even got you something. Listen, I don't need you to buy me anything. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is exactly what I want. Baby, can you believe how good this looks on me? And can you believe how quickly it has to go back? But I got it for you. It's going back, put it in the bag. Matter of fact, don't take anything out of the boxes or bags until me and your mother have had a chance to discuss it. Come on, thank you. Zoe, fold up your clothes. Wesley, go clean up your room. Go ahead, or whatever it is you're doing. Wesley, Thanks. the bag stays with me. That's right. And I'll take care of this, okay? yeah. <laughs> Jay, you are not keeping that hat. Oh, baby, I'm just making sure that it was in the bag. In the bag. That's right. In the bag. Keep it on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> And you, you know, I had to fold up all these, oh, oh, that was off the chain. Yeah, yeah. Where did you get that? MC Festa. Oh, oh, they look at you. No, 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 no. I actually did consider the whole, you know, recruiting job, but to be honest with you, I got a better offer. No, I, th I thought, hold, hold, you know what? I'll give you a call back. No, no, I'll call you back. Peace. Come in. Hey. Oh. Why did you let my kids buy all of that junk? Steve, you are not gonna move here and start wreaking havoc on my life. Hello, Aaliyah, how are you? Like a drink, huh? Don't you hello, Aaliyah, me, and no, I don't want a thing to drink. Come on now, I don't even know what I did wrong this time. Well, that's your problem, Steve, you never do. <sighs> the best thing you can do for Wesley is spend time with him. Stop buying him a whole bunch of stuff he doesn't need. Oh, come on, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with me spoiling my boy every once in a while. I got the means to do it. Means have never been your issue, have they? The question is, what are your intentions? You know what my intentions are? I intend to be a father like I've always been. Oh, honey, well, you have been a provider, but certainly not his father. Oh, OK. Well, I'm very sorry that um, Queen Aaliyah feels that way, but newsflash, baby, I'm a much better father to him than my daddy has ever been to me. Oh, wow, well, that ain't saying too much now, is it? Aaliyah, come on, baby, what do you want from me? Well, if you don't know right now, we need to sit down and lay down some ground rules. <sighs> and first things first, if you want to see Wesley, you have to talk to me first. What? No calling him up and making plans. Oh, come on, the boy's 17 years old. Yes, he is a boy, and I am his mother. Look, Steve, I am serious. He's doing well in school this year, and I need him to stay focused. OK, OK. I won't call him. I'll call you. Thank you. Right? Good? All right, now, hold on. I want to I ask you something now. Why isn't Wesley playing football? 
Are you serious? Why doesn't he play ball? Come on. Are you even listening to me? Yes, I am listening. It only seemed like a natural thing to do. I mean, his dad actually only has a Heisman Trophy and two Super Bowl rings. Come on. That's about you, Steve. Wesley likes skateboarding. But he like what? Did, did you say he likes to skateboard? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, 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 Steve, your son play football? No, man, he likes to skateboard. You know oh, what? Oh, God, I knew I should have taken him this summer. So you could teach him how to play football? Exactly. What about teaching him how to be a man? Look, hey, hey, we, we, we talk about man stuff all the time, OK? What's your husband talking about, skateboarding? <laughs> I'm going to tell you one more time. Don't mess with my son. Either you're all the way in or you're out. Hey, baby. Hey, Nana. Mm. Help your mama get this house clean. <laughs> Men's Fitness Magazine. Ain't nobody trying to get fit around here, at least not me. <laughs> they nice, right? Gonna be nice and broke if you don't get them off that tape. No, let us check them out. Brand new. Just got them. Fresh. Ah! My kicks. <laughs> See your shoes. Bricks? I heard. No. Air. Just like that big old head of yours. I heard you went on a shopping spree. Oh, yep, with my dad. That's where I got these. Mm-hmm. Your dad sure know how to give good gifts. He does. He even got Zoe some stuff. When's the last time you seen your dad since you saw him the other day? Uh, a little over a year ago, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. That doesn't bother you? Uh, not really. I mean, he's always working. You know, when he's not playing, he's training. And when he quit, he went overseas for a while, you know? I don't understand it. You seem to think that your father is so perfect, yet you complain about your mother all the time, but she's the one that's right here doing all the work. Ma didn't buy me a car. Oh, 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 so that's it. New stuff, new cars and kicks, huh? That's not, that's not what it's all about. I mean, it is nice to get new cars and new kicks every once in a while. Mm-hmm. I wish somebody buy me some new stuff. <laughs> Nana, what do you want me to buy you? Let me see. You know, I could use me a nice new Sunday hat. Big old pretty one. Okay, okay, okay. Cock it to the side, swag it out a little <laughs> oh, bit. Come on now, you know how to do it. Nana, I got you. Just ask for it and it's yours. Baby, your mother does everything she can for you. She sacrificed her whole life for you. And Jay, he loves you unconditionally. You are so blessed, baby. I know, Nana. Well, act like it sometimes. Not when you get new clothes, but when you got food on the table. Or you get some gas to put in that new car of yours. <laughs> I get an amen. Amen. I love you, Ma. I appreciate you, Ma. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, that's not very sincere, is it? I am being sincere, Ma. I love you. Come on, bring it in. Oh, bring it. <laughs> bring it off of me. <laughs> Nana, are those cookies ready? Yeah, they're on top of the stove. All oh, right. wait, 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 wait. I got something for you. I need to do something for me. Just read them. Call you later. Okay. Hey, baby. Mom, what a day. Are oh, you tired? <laughs> Come on, park it right there. I just want to sit down here and take a nap. <laughs> you didn't happen to cook some dinner to go along with those cookies? Child, <laughs> I done cooked enough dinner to last me two lifetimes. Why you think I'm always trying to eat dinner with you? <laughs> Yeah, come on. Uh, oh, wow. Look, look at how clean it is in here. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. You got your little afro big old puff on the top. <laughs> oh, wow. When when'd you start wearing those? Dad, are you serious? Yeah, very. Oh, come on, man. Mom lets me wear them all the time. Really? Yeah. OK. I want to do something. Be right back. Now, uh, uh, Aaliyah. Baby, yeah, Aaliyah, come in for the car. I want a woman's opinion. Hey, 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 what's so, going on? Hey, baby, listen. Um, you like those shoes? 
I like them. Would you wear those shoes? Yeah. See? Thank you. Take them off. What? No! Yeah, listen, if Aaliyah will wear those shoes, then you obviously should not be wearing Dad, them. Dad, are you going on? Are you serious? I'm really serious. Your mother lets you get away with too much, but not in this house, not on my watch. Take them off. Aaliyah, can you please tell him they're fine? Okay. Jay, yeah. I, I don't see anything wrong with the shoes. Thank you. I mean, this is how girls her age are dressing these days. Really? Yeah. Oh. So? Uh-huh. Zoe, could you let me talk to your dad? Please? Yes. Um. Yeah. Jay. Yes. Come on, honey. It's a pair of shoes, okay? Just let her wear them. When are we gonna talk to Steve? I already talked to him. You what? I saw him today. Hmm. I thought, you know, we were gonna talk to him together. I thought it was best I went alone. Why? Well, because I didn't want him to get defensive. Hmm. And I wasn't sure what you were going to say. Well, baby, when we uh, decide to do things together, I would love to know when the plans change. Well, the problem is we didn't decide. It was a suggestion. Hmm. OK. Suggestion? Yeah. <laughs> you just suggested it. OK. All right. Dang, I really gotta start closing this door. Look, Dad, don't go through my things, okay? Hmm. Okay, so... I can keep the shoes? What? The shoes. Oh, yeah, against my better judgment. You know, this is, uh, this is a really good picture of you and your mom. Do you ever wish you'd stayed with her? I don't even know how to answer that. Just tell me the truth. Well, I wish we could have stayed together for your sake, but I have no regrets on marrying Aaliyah. We make a better couple. So are you two gonna have a baby? Uh, that's not in the plans, but you know, I don't know, maybe. I think you guys should. Mm. Thanks for letting me keep the shoes, by the way. Mm. And where are you going again? Mm, to the movies. Right. Movies. It's yep. dark in the movies. Okay, Dad. Look, I already know where you're going with that. And mm. just so you know, the movie theater lobby is kind of like mm. a catwalk. And while I'm waiting in line for my popcorn, I just want to give them Bam. Oh. <laughs> See, okay, one wrong fashion choice, and you might as well, I don't know, transfer to another school. That's that serious, huh? Yes, Dad. Uh -huh. Like, you don't understand. I set the standard for a lot of girls. You would be very proud of me. I am proud of you. <laughs> but I want your uh, reputation to be built on good grades and respect, not just your fashion choices, young lady. It is, Dad. It is. So, <laughs> you know, huh? I've never heard oh. your mixtape. Oh, my mixtape. You have one? <laughs> my my mixtape? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Nothing. <laughs> no, it's, it's something. No. How, how can I be of service? Spit it out. OK. Um, well, OK, it's nothing big. Right. But, OK, OK, here it is. Um, yeah. I don't really like having to ride around with Wesley everywhere, so how come I can't just have my own car? Because you don't need a car. Well, I do. Really? Yes. Look, OK. See, I don't think you really understand my schedule, but it is very hectic. Enlighten me. OK, so I have swim team practice 8 a.m. every morning, which right. will then switch to 4 p.m. in the afternoons when school starts. And mm -hmm. then this summer, I have gymnastics on right. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, right. and then pre-college courses on Mondays and Fridays. So you work all the time, and Aaliyah is going to get tired of checking me everywhere. Did she say that? OK, not exactly, but I mean, I okay. can tell. Mm. And if you get me a car, then I can help you out by running errands. I don't need you to do that. Well, Wesley has a car. His father bought him a car. We don't want him to outdo you now, do we? <laughs> I'm not in the competition. Listen, is there a job somewhere in this hectic schedule? Mm. Uh, well, no. I can't hear you. No, no, no but I don't have time for a job, Dad. Yeah. Well, I, I think the movies are calling you. But, Dad, the car, come on. What if we just talk Later. about it? 
later. We'll discuss it later. Okay. All right. Okay, well, you know my birthday is next month, so don't forget. I'm not going to miss your birthday. No, I'm not talking about my birthday. I'm actually talking about this conversation about the car. Goodbye, Zoe. Bye, Dad. Mm. Oh, thanks. Love you. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> about time, Zoe. You're gonna make me late. Come on. Chill, okay? The movie doesn't start for another hour, so it's okay. Look, Zoe, I'm not going to the movies, okay? I'm dropping you off, then I'm meeting my dad at the station. He's gonna give me a behind-the-scenes tour. Then we're going to a party. Okay, well, you know that sounds like way more fun than the movie, Zoe, so... Zoe, no. No, what? you can't please, go. Please, please, please. No! Please. Look, look, I have to talk to my dad about some important stuff. I don't want your big mouth talking about it before it's even decided. Before what's decided? Nothing, Zoe. Just come on. Wes, what is it? I'm gonna see if I can live with my dad. Hey, I just got here. Oh, no more reason. No, Zoe, look, I'm, I'm serious. We've never got any time to get to know each other because he's always lived on the West Coast. Okay. Now is the perfect time, and plus, in a year, I... So are you gonna take me with you or what? Because this whole... Did you just interrupt me? No, 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 actually, I just interjected in between your words, which isn't really the same thing, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm dropping you off at the movies. So no, go. Wes, please, 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 please. My please, mom, please. we're about to leave. Hey, so what time will you two be back? Probably around like 12. Mm -hmm. I thought the movie started at seven. We'll probably get something to eat afterwards. Yeah. A little snack. Oh, okay. Well, by midnight, you two better be walking through that door. All right, got you, Mom. Mm hmm. All right. Love All right. You. Love you guys. Hi, love you too. Have fun. We will. We'll do. Midnight. Okay. okay. Jay, could you get down here for a minute? Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You busy? No, no, baby. Just taking care of some work. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Mom just left. The kids are going until midnight. So I was thinking you and I could go out for dinner instead of cooking. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, oh. What? Midnight. That's Wesley's curfew in the summertime? You know that. Yeah, but, but Zoe's curfew is 10. Uh-huh, but she's riding with Wesley? All right, but come on, baby. You can't just change a curfew time because she's riding with Wesley. She's younger. By one year. Mm-hmm. Ajay, you're not calling her. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh... Yeah. Honey, listen. Hello? It's too late to change things now, all right? They'll be back by midnight. <sighs> Why wouldn't you call me before you let them leave? For the same reason you didn't talk to me first before you told her she could move in here. Okay. All right. So now I see what this is about. That's what's been bothering you? Come on. Let's talk about it. Come on, baby. Let's talk about it. Don't shut down. Jay, you should have asked me first. Ask you what? She's my daughter. And I'm your wife. And we should have had a conversation before you told her she could move in here. She's normally here on the weekend, so I, yeah. I don't understand what you... Yeah, the weekends, Jay. Not every day a week for the next two years or until she goes to college. But you're always talking about how you want uh, Wesley and her to spend more time together. <sighs> that is not the point. I'm trying to tell you that we should have had a conversation before you told her she could move in here. Jay, you're always making these decisions without talking to me first. Okay. You changed the bank without telling me. Uh -huh. You uh, changed this paint color. Uh, I mean, Okay, what? so <laughs> you're saying that you have a challenge with Zoe moving in here. Yes. Yes, Jay, I do. Look, raising another child is more of a responsibility than I really want right now. Mm. I'm going back to school, and with work, there's just not enough time. Well, baby, they're teenagers. They practically raise themselves. No, they don't, Jay. You're gone most of the week, so you have no idea. I have to clean up behind them. I have to cook. I have to... Let them cook and clean for themselves. Wesley's 17. I mean, you shouldn't be washing his clothes anyway. You're 38 and I still wash yours. But I'm your husband. And he's my son. Who needs to learn some responsibility. You need to stop babying him. I don't baby him. Yes, you do. And when I give him rules, you don't back me up on it. That's because sometimes you're just too hard on him. He's a man who's about to enter this world and he needs to be prepared. If not, he's gonna end up right back here with us. To tell you the truth, I'm ready for both of them to be away at college, so I can have more time to spend with my wife. Now, look at me, look at me. 
Why do you have a problem with Zoe moving in? Hmm? Maybe I've talked to Jasmine and everything is okay. So what is it? You're gonna be really upset when I say this. Well, say it anyway. Jay, I don't want to share you with anyone else. What? Look, I know it's selfish, but I'm just being honest. I already find myself just waiting around here to try to spend some quality time with you as is. You work so much, and, and now with another person in this house who needs you? I mean, it's... <sighs> She's my daughter. I know. Hmm? I know. And for the six years we have been married, I have enjoyed spending quality time with her and watching her grow into a beautiful young woman. Yeah, as long as it's not on weekends and holidays. Don't say it like that, Jay. Well, baby, how else am I supposed to say it? I mean, what if it was the same way when we met? What if I felt the same way when we met? Hmm? I mean, I've been raising Wesley since he was 11 years old. I know, Jay, and you know how much I appreciate that. So you're saying that you wouldn't have married me if I had custody of Zoe? Of course I would have married you. It's just that I would have known from the beginning what I was signing up for. You signed up to love and cherish me. My daughter is part of me. You knew this when we got married. So whether it's two days a week or seven, it's what you signed up for. I shouldn't have said anything. No, no I'm, I'm glad you did. Because at least now, I know what the attitude is about. Jay, are you mad at me? No. Just disappointed. Sir, I, um, I thought we'd go out and play some basketball a little later. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, Dad. What time do you want to go? You know, I have a conference call in about an hour, so right after that. Okay, cool. This one's cool. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You good? I'm great. All right. Great. So, um, Mom says that you, um, you're, you're good in school. Yeah, yeah, I might get a scholarship. Man. That's awesome. I'm telling you, those academic scholarships, that's where it's at, because sports, you know, it's risky. You can always get hurt or something. Yeah, I know, and then plus, they don't make skateboard scholarships yet. Yeah, that's right. Your mama told me that you play the skateboard. Yeah, come on. No, I'm just saying skateboard. that you, you play the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, son. <laughs> Listen, um, I want to ask you something. Get those big old feet off my chair, boy. <laughs> son. My boy. <laughs> Listen, have you ever thought about playing football? Yeah, I did when I was younger, but Dad, I wasn't really that good. Wait, go, well, hey, shut up! <laughs> did you practice? Yeah, of course I practiced. I just, I didn't like the sport. I, I like individual sports. I'm not really that big on teams. You know, I'm gonna ask your mama for a DNA test. No, I think <laughs> you should even fool around with Tiger Woods, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wish, I wish that I had spent more time with you, man. I mean, I beg your mom, please, move down west. I don't know. I got to stay down here with my mama. That's where my <laughs> help come from. <laughs> yeah, she told me that. It's cool. She? she told me. All right. Well, one thing I'm going to promise you, boy. Now that I'm back here, we're going to spend a lot more time together, son. I'm going to see you at least twice a month. Hey, Dad, I was, I was kind of thinking that. Oh, 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 hold that, hold that. Oh, it's the door. Hold on. Let me skateboard. Can I borrow your skateboard? <laughs> I'm going to skate. Uh... <laughs> Son is the boogeyman. <laughs> hey. 
You are so pathetic. Mm. I came to get Wesley. No, no, we about to play some hoop. Wes is good. No, yeah. he's not good. Mom, what are you doing here? I came to pick you up. Dad is gonna drop me off later. No, he's not. And Leah, what is wrong with you? Wesley was supposed to come home last night, not send his sister home with a car and text me at 11.30 saying he was gonna stay here with you. How come you didn't just text me back last okay, night? Text you? Why didn't you bring your behind home last night the way you were supposed to? Okay, oh, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I really, I take full responsibility. I told him that he'd spend the night, send his sister home, okay, but it's good. It's all right, because we had a late breakfast after the party. The, the party? Hmm? What party? Yeah, yeah, about that. The party. No, uh, it's okay. <clears throat> it's all right. Hey, it's all right. I just saw him. I took him to the pre-draft party with me. We had a good time. <laughs> Bye, <yeah. laughs> Are you talking about the same pre-draft party that has all the desperate women trying to hook themselves an athlete? Um, Dad, it was it wasn't bad girls. It wasn't no, it wasn't no girls. You know what? <laughs> you get in the car. Mom, come on. Now. Come on, Leah. Hey, I'll see you a little later, all right? All right, Love you, man. Love you, too. All right? Hey. Come <laughs> the girls. Are you kidding me? What? What are you doing bringing a 17-year-old to a party like that? Aaliyah, I was watching him. Steve, you know what happens at those parties. Of course I do. That's where I met you. Remember? I'm going to tell you one more time. You are not to see him until you talk to me first. And I'm going to tell you, he's my son, too. Well, stop treating him like he's your homeboy. I'm not treating him like he's my homeboy. Yes, we just spent some time. Why do you have to control everything? Wesley, I said get in the car. Let the boy talk. Go ahead. I want to move in with Dad. Oh, shut up. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no. Why not? Mom, you're always saying that you wish we were closer. Like, he's finally here. This is my last year in high school. I make good grades. Like, this is the perfect time. So what's up, Steve? Hmm? Why don't you have anything to say? I'm going to stay. Come on, Dad. Don't you think it's a good idea? Huh? Good, uh, yeah, man. I think it's an a excellent idea. But mm. I also think that you ought to listen to your mother. See, that's the best thing for you to do. The Bible says you ought to listen to your Ooh. parents, which is pleasing to Jehovah. Doesn't it say that, baby? Oh, honey, you are quoting Bible verses? Jalapeno. <laughs> wow. What? You know what? It's funny because you have never cared about Wesley listening to me before. Oh, no, that's 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 not true. She she lies. I always, <laughs> no, I always told you I appreciate the way you raised my son. Didn't I tell you that? Huh? Didn't I? So I thought. You know what, Wesley? Mama is tired. So if you want to go ahead and move in with your daddy, you go right ahead, baby. Cool, Dad. I guess I'm moving in tomorrow. No, 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 no. I mean tomorrow, kind of soon, right? Say. So, hey, I gotta check my work schedule. I mean, I got these crazy hours, you know? Come on, Dad. I can stay home by myself. It's cool. Mm hmm Oh, you know, we're gonna have to pack up all that dirty clothes I haven't washed yet, but we can get you right. We'll get you here. Cool? Thank you, Mom. All right, baby, no problem. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, all Dad. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, baby. <laughs> all right, see you Love you, son. All right, love you, too. Mm, how great is that? You know what, Steve? He's gonna need a little help with all that packing he has to do, so, uh, what time are you gonna come by tomorrow? I'll call you. Please do. No, oh, wait, wait, let me talk to you for a second. Lee, Lee. no, no, Lee, 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 Lee. Lee! <laughs> hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, what's going on? Nothing much. When your mother tells you to do something, you do it. All right? Good to see you. Well, I'm about to move in with my pops, so... Aaliyah. Look, he asked, so I said, why not? But while we're at it, why don't you tell Jay where you were last night? I just went out with my dad. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. OK. Where? To a party? A party. OK. An NFL pre-draft party. Oh. Dad was with us the whole night. It's not like he wasn't watching us. Whoa, 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 whoa. With us? Mm-hmm. Us who? So, oh, so you took so Zoe. Zoe, baby, get down here. Hey, yeah, hey, that? hey, baby, come. Hey. Uh, listen, I was just talking to Wesley, uh, telling me about the movie. Uh, do you have your ticket stub from last night? Can you show it to me? Take, look, me, take your stub. Um... Where'd you go last night? 
Okay, well, you should just give me my own car, then I won't have to ride around with wow. Wesley everywhere. Hold on, hold on. You beg to go with me. interesting tone. Uh, listen, you, no swimming, uh, no gymnastics, uh, no cell phone. As a matter of fact, next week, you're getting yourself a part-time job. I don't want to hear it. Well, Quiet. is Wesley getting grounded, too? I'm moving it with my dad. Yeah. Well, how about both of you move on upstairs? Yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the party. Can't believe that you're allowing him to do this. And we didn't talk about this again. Why? OK, Jay, not now, please. All right, I'm just saying that we have to be on the same page if we're going to defeat the enemy. The enemy? Yeah, teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> so you really going to let him do this? Jay, if he wants to live with his dad, so be it. That's going to be the quickest lesson that he has ever learned in appreciation. Hmm. All right. Baby, are you still mad at me? Yes, I am. <clears throat> Jay, listen, I want to be able to be honest with you, even if right? it shows a bad side of me. Mm. Mm. Look, I'm not saying that Zoe can't stay here, but I am going to say that she plays you. Whoa, wait a minute. Are you saying that my daughter plays me? Yes, she plays on your guilt. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. <laughs> Exhibit A. What? What is that? Is this a car magazine? Oh yeah, that yeah that is that is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Wow. You want something to drink? Get uh. Something to drink. Okay, so you're planning on buying her a car? Oh no no no! Oh, I I know what you th see. No, that was that was just so you know you wouldn't have to drive around all the time. Oh. That's what that was. Yeah. And this is all about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I love you. That's what a husband does for a wife. Uh, okay, Jay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Listen. I just want to get her the things that she wants because she did not grow up in the house with me. Baby, look, I know and I appreciate that. And I know you do the same exact thing for Wesley. I love you for that. Well, he's my son, too. Look, I really do feel bad for what I said. It's just that I really, really miss spending time with you. And Zoe doesn't always listen to what I say, so it's going to make things a lot harder. Mm. <sighs> but I'm sorry. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Shut up and kiss me. I think I can do that. You can do that? Yeah. You can do that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh, as we lay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey. All this love going on, honey, I might get me a new grandbaby in the mix. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hey, baby. Yeah, I know, right? Didn't know you were here, Ma. <laughs> oh, honey, I just stopped by. You know, I had to make my famous peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, Ma, I got a question. And that? not that we mind at all, but why do you always come over here to make your dessert? Because I'm on a diet. And I need to leave all those extra calories right here and not in my house. Mm. <laughs> give, give thanks. Give thanks and praise. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to get any more grandkids out of us. Because the two we have are aging us as we speak. Well, I don't know, baby. One more might not be so bad. I mean, a little baby that looks like the both of us. Cute little baby. Cute. Cute. Cute, cute, cute baby. Okay, are you two kidding? Beautiful baby. Take after me. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, no. Seriously? We'll see. Uh, we'll see? Yeah, or we'll practice. <laughs> Jay! <laughs> Mama, you didn't hear nah, that. Mama, Mama, okay. I don't want to hear that part. Look, on that note, let me go check on Zoe. I'll be right back. Okay, baby, listen, the two that we have, uh, no, 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 no. There is no way. We might be home free in two years. Think about that. Yeah, I I'll think about that. Let me go check on Zoe. <laughs> okay, I'll be up in a minute because I have some new info on that Stonehenge situation. <sighs> oh, Ma. I'm such a good husband. Baby, you're just not realizing that. Mm, I don't know. Some days I, uh, I know it more than others. So, how am I supposed to trust you if you lie to me? Dad, I really was going to go to the movies until I found out about the party. Hmm. Why didn't you just ask me? Well, you would have said no. Absolutely. 
Well, then I would have been in direct defiance. See, not asking was like indirect defiance, based on the assumption that you might not agree. You really are the enemy. <laughs> enemy what? <laughs> You're wrong, OK? Plain and simple. And you are on punishment. And you see, I was down there thinking about getting you a car, but now I see you're not responsible enough No, anymore. Dad, please, please. I need my own car. Oh, so you only wanted to move here for a car? No, no, no. I wanted to move here because I want to go to Northside. What's that Northside? Mm, more like who's at Northside. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Oh, I did a little research on Stonehenge. Oh. Why would you do that, Aaliyah? No, honey, because that's what mothers do. So Stonehenge goes to Northside High. Mm -hmm. Oh, so now it's all starting to make sense. Mm -hmm. You came to go to this school so you can be with that boy. No, not just some boy, but the hottest drummer in the city. Look, Dad, they're going to blow up and just be famous. And what happens after this explosion? Explosion? When they blow up, the explosion, what happens? After he becomes famous, do you think he's still going to want to be with you? I mean, I am his girlfriend. I know I'm gonna have to, like, you know, put up with a few groupies, but... Oh, God. At the end of the day, they always go back to the one who was with them before it all exploded. Mm. So she played me. Oh, honey, did she play you? <laughs> and by the way, his social status says single. So if he's not claiming you now as a nobody, do you really think he's gonna claim you as a famous drummer? Like, you don't know that. Oh, hold on. Social status? Ooh, Jay. Okay, babe, look. Yeah. I think it's time that Zoe and I had a little girl talk. Okay, I want to talk more about Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Yeah. Really? Huh. Go pull out an encyclopedia. What happened? <laughs> Look, go help Wesley with his packing, and I got this, okay? What happened to my baby? She got taken over by the teenage body snatchers. Look, I got it. We're going to talk and have a little chit-chat, okay? See what you can do. All right, babe. Thanks. Okay, look, save it. I already know what you're going to say. Really? Yep. You're a mom, so you're not going to listen. You're just going to tell me that I'm too young to like him and that I need to focus on my future. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm not going to tell you you're too young. I met Steve when I was 16 at a party I had no business attending. He was 18, and I fell for him hard. Well, see? Well, honey, that's why I can understand what you're going through. So you don't think I'm being ridiculous? Oh, well, you're being a girl. And girls are ridiculous and irrational and romantic and sometimes just plain foolish. Hey. Hey, look, I am including myself in that statement. Women are just girls with wrinkles and stretch marks. Ew, you have stretch marks? Okay, focus, Zoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, look, I know what happened between you and Steve, so what, you think that's just gonna happen to me, right? Oh, honey, it better not. I got pregnant two years afterwards trying to hold on to him. No way, look. I'm not getting pregnant. I'm going to law school. Zoe, that's exactly what I'm saying, honey. Just go out there and live out your dreams. And if those dreams are supposed to include Mr. Hinge, well, they will when it's time. And he, I don't know, if he becomes rich and famous, well, girl, let him do his thing. Because your stock only goes up as you mature. Okay, and by stock, you mean value, right? Yes, value. Zoe, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. And I have become stronger because of them. And I know you're going to make your share, too, but if there's any way that I can help you avoid the big ones, I'd like to help you do that. Okay. <laughs> I promise you, when you get to college and you see all those cute little frat boys getting degrees in medicine, Mr. Stonehenge won't seem like the wonder of the world that he is today. OK, OK. Mm -hmm. But I mean, for now, you have to admit he is pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you like that grungy, I haven't washed my hair in two weeks, two <laughs> months, ooh, two years look. Girl, <laughs> that boy is a mess. <laughs> hey, do you smell that peach cobbler? Ah, uh, fresh out of the oven. Well, suggestion, since Wesley's moving out, how about Nana just move in? Oh, honey, who needs to know it all mothers in one house? You know what? 
Yeah, I think you're kind of right. Yeah. <laughs> One is plenty, trust me. So, you're really leaving, huh? Yeah. Don't you think you're hurting your mom's feelings by leaving? Did you hurt your mom's feelings when you left? I don't know. Well, at least I'm leaving for a good reason, not like I'm leaving for some stupid guy. That's not entirely true, OK? I mean, I've always wanted to live with my dad, and you know, I wonder if I'd be different had he have raised me instead of my mom. So. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Mom, am I hurting your feelings? A little. <laughs> Mom, I don't mean to. It's just... Baby, I... look, I know. Look, don't worry. I'll be fine. In fact, I've got um, Miss Zoe here to work on that one good nerve I got left. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me. I know. <laughs> That's him. Hey. What's up, Dad? Hey. How you feel, man? I'm good. I'm already packed. Good, good, good. Actually, I want to talk to you about this whole, you know, living situation. Zoe, could you give us a minute? Oh, yeah. Hey, Wes, come see me before you leave, okay? All right. All right. Hey. You good, champ? Yeah. Good, good. Have a seat, man. I want to talk to you about something. Listen, Wes, I know, I know you're excited, right? And I'm excited, too, about this moving thing, but I really think that I think you should stay here with your mom. Okay, look, why, why would you transfer schools in your senior year? Yeah, most of my friends have already graduated. It's not really still, a big deal. Still, still, son, I, I just think it's best, man. Let me tell you, man, my, my working hours are crazy, dude. I work long, It's not long like I hours. need a babysitter, Dad. Come I know. on. Uh, Leah, come, come on. You, you gonna help me out here? What? You know what, Steve? Why don't you just enlighten us? Because I honestly can't think of a good reason why he shouldn't go with you. Okay, son, how do I say this? Um, my life, right? My, my life just ain't set up f to be no full-time parent, son. What does that mean? It means you're just gonna have to come on the weekends, all right? It means that we're gonna still go out, you know, we're gonna play ball, go to all the fun places we go when you come and visit, but Wes, I'm not made for this, man. Go, going out to help you find your colleges and doing homework, dude, I, I ain't ready for that, dog. Dad, I you're gonna have to get ready. You've had 17 years. How long do hey, you hey, need? You need to watch your tone. No! Man. Nope. Aaliyah, tell him. <sighs> wait, wait, where you going? You need to talk to him. Stop waiting on my mom to smooth things over. Just say it. You don't want me to live with you. No, son, you got it all wrong. No, no, say I'll be an inconvenience. Say I'll get in the way. Just be honest with me. Okay. Okay, Wes, you want me to be honest with you? I want to be honest with you. I have given you everything I have to give, son. I don't have no more. I don't, I don't know anything else, okay? But what I do know is I want what's best for you. Yeah, that's an excuse. No, okay, call it whatever, whatever you want to call it, all right? All I know how to do is win, Wes. That's it. Man, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. Hear me out, all right? Let's just say you move in with me. What if I'm not the father that you need me to be, man? That makes me a failure, right? My father was a failure. He was a loser, man. I ain't gonna be no loser, Wes. The losing stops here. Look, Dad, I'm not a football game. I'm your son, I know, okay? I know who you are. You are my son, and I love you dearly, man, but that's exactly why you need to be here with your mother. Listen, having Aaliyah raise you is the best thing I've ever done. And there it is. There it is, son. All right, now you're just gonna have to man up about this whole thing. No, that's funny. You expect me to be a man, but you've never been there to teach me how. I'll tell you something, son. You upset, and I got that. You, you have every right to be upset, but I will not stand here and be disrespected by my son. Then leave. What? There's the door. Leave. No, Wesley. I didn't want it to end on these terms, son. 
All I wanted from you was to, to really see that you being here was your best chance of winning. Yeah, I see that fact clear as day now. Why would I go somewhere I'm not wanted? Don't say that, man. You are wanted, Wesley. You're wanted, son. No, I'm not. You just want it to look that way. Hey, Wesley. Come on, Wesley. Leaving so soon? That boy acts just like you, you know that? Oh, good. Because <laughs> the last thing the world needs is another jerk. Hey, come on, that, that's not fair. You, I have provided well for Wesley. And Steve, I thank you for every check you wrote, every deposit you made, every gift you've given. And now, I understand more than ever that you gave him the only thing that you had to give. What the hell is that supposed to mean? All I'm good for is some money? Your actions said what you could never say with words. You know this is your fault, don't you? You, you, you could have avoided all of this. All you had to do was tell the boy no. Everything all right? Wesley's upset. Wesley will be staying with us. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Bro, he gonna be staying with y'all. You know, I got, um, got this crazy job. You know, my schedule, I gotta put in a lot of time, you know? You work a lot, you know exactly what I'm saying. You understand? Mm -hmm. Tell Wes I'll be by to pick him up this weekend, take him to a baseball game. Oh, no, 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 Steve. Wesley will call you if and when he wants to see you. Oh, well, no, no, no. You, you, you won't keep me from my son. But I will. If that's what it will take to keep you from continuously hurting him. And if I remember correctly, you haven't paid child support in over a year, and I know you don't want to go to court. Look, I pay for that car he's driving, all right? That's child support. Will you tell that to the judge? If Wesley wants to talk to you, he'll call. If not, lay back. I mean, come on, bro. With your, with your hectic work schedule, you won't have that much time on your hands anyway, huh? Right? Goodbye, Steve. Wesley mentioned it, Steve broke out into a cold sweat. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just so sorry you had to find out that way. Yeah, don't worry about him. He'll be all right. You know, maybe I just should have said no. Mm. You know, been the mean old mama as always, and then Steve would still be his hero. Hey, stop. Look at me. You did the right thing, OK? You help your son take his first steps into manhood. You think? Absolutely. You let them know that everything that glitters is not always gold. And that sometimes the best gifts are right up under your nose. Really? Yeah. Under your nose? Under your, uh, oh, yeah, really? under your nose. Well, oh, really? <laughs> well, well, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm moving under your nose. Mm -hmm. oh, no, see, I already know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm blessing. You know, what you need to do, uh -huh. oh, should I say I? Need to do is to get up under your nose. Get up under my nose. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and let you see my shine. Your shine. My shine. That baby shine. <laughs> Why is it? Let me tell her. Okay, you hold that thought, okay? Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Okay. That might be Jasmine. Oh, okay. In that case, you can. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> see, you, you are on a roll. You hear me? Baby, please. No, no, no. <laughs> Keep it going. I will go upstairs and let Zoe know her mother is here. Okay? I'm so. Okay. Can we finish that later? Yeah. All right. Do your job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jasmine? Aaliyah? Is Zoe ready? Jay went upstairs to get her. Would you like to have something to drink? No. Okay, well, would you at least have a seat?
Okay, Jasmine, I'll just get right to it. I wanted to apologize to you for anything I have ever said or done that made you feel uncomfortable. You have done an excellent job of raising Zoe. Okay, could you not look at me like that? I'm trying to be serious. Wow, okay. Um, I accept your apology. <clears throat> and? What? I mean, aren't you gonna apologize for disrespecting my marriage? No. I mean, because I always did wonder why Jay, you know, married you. Yeah, but then Zoe told me that you were a good cook, so I was just assuming and that was it. I mean, what else could it be? <laughs> you? Girl, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to say, girl, you better stop. I know, I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? Please do. All right. This is really hard for me to admit. But, um, I can never really understand why Jay left me and Zoe and took you and your son in. I mean, it's like he traded one for the other. But Jasmine, we met over two years after you two divorced. No, I know, but it doesn't matter. Because when he refers to you, it's like you're his fresh start. And like, we were so awful. Like, he had to have something new. And that, that really hurt. And so I blamed you for it. The words are powerful. Yes, they are. So I'm hoping that these next two are just as powerful. I'm sorry. Your mother's right. We, we can't keep doing this to the kids. Oh, God, I'm so happy we did this. I'm just so sorry. Oh, you're almost glowing. Yes, believe it. <laughs> Speaking of grown, you are not wearing those shoes. Well, Aaliyah said I could wear them. Zoe only moved here so she can go to school with Stonehenge. Oh, you started it. Stonehenge, huh? That's not entirely true. Uh-huh. I mean, come on, Mom. Let's, let's go, you Let's be very logical about this. I mean, yeah, we're we gonna be logical. I'm saying to be logical okay. about all of this. I told you those shoes were too grown. Well, I can always take them back and exchange them for my size. Mm. <laughs> See, that was your plan all along, wasn't it? Of course not. I thought we were talking about, you know, brutal honesty. Brutal honesty? Brutal honesty. OK. Where, well, where are you going? Someone needs to explain to this. Oh, mm. wow. That, that old thing, I'd forgotten all about that. That old thing? Mm-hmm. Don't you mean the new hat that Zoe bought you? No, no, the baby, that's not new. That's, that's, that's my old hat that's, you know, I mean? Mm. So, you know, I don't change my style. You don't change your style? No, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let's, let's, let's not do this right now. Wow, wow, well, well, um, well, well, how can I help you? And you want another one? <laughs> Baby, by the time we get some alone time, we'll be too old to appreciate it. Mm. Whoa, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, 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 okay, Mom, look, look. I'm reconsidering right now. All right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Mom, look, I just want to say I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Just for all of the years of just giving you a hard time. Wesley, you have been a very good son. And I don't have any complaints. Unless you consider the tattoo you snuck off and got, mm. the nose piercing, mm. the broken bones after you fell off the skateboard, and then you go, ooh. Boy. You know, now that I think about it, you owe me a few more apologies. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, how about I start by cooking dinner tonight? Cooking? Oh, what? Cooking what? Let's see, I can do a little uh, croquet, monsieur, some soup de jour. What's that? <laughs> Ham and cheese sandwiches with the soup oh. of the day. And, and, and what's that? What we got in the cabinet? We don't have any soup, Wesley. Well, then it's just croquet, monsieur. Okay, monsieur. Okay, monsieur. Okay. All right, let me go and try to make some <laughs> real I'm gonna come and help you out. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, croquet, what? Monsieur. What? What's going on? Hey, uh... Hmm? Look, Jay. Yeah. Pops. I appreciate you.
Wes, I love you. All right? All right. Love you, too. Let's go in there and help her out before she burns something up. Yeah, let's get your French <laughs> together, too. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. What's on with my voulez vous coucher? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yo, I'm a, you gonna learn about that. That's the French you need to learn. How much? Aaliyah? Wesley? Hey, oh, wow. Hey, Zoe? Man. Come on down here. Jay, baby, yeah. come over here too. Come yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, look on. at that oh, cake. Look at that there. Boy, hey, 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 just hey. like his common sense. Yeah, we don't know where your hand's been. What's going on with you? Come on now. <laughs> well, everybody, um, Wesley, baby, did you do what I asked you to do with those cards? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I need them right now. All right. All right. Underlay, mm. underlay, underlay. Ma, <laughs> what's going on? Well, I asked Wesley to have you all write down some promises for our family on those cards. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did that. Yeah, me too. Thank you, baby. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Zoe. OK. For you. And Jay. Oh. Oh, thank you. Wow. Everybody, mm -hmm. these are your new vows. Ma, what are you talking about? <laughs> the regular wedding vows work for those simple marriages, you know, where there's, there's just a husband and a wife. But <laughs> this situation, this is not regular, <laughs> to say the least, right? So um, I think it would be wonderful if we would all just uh, say our vows so that we could all be involved. So, Zoe, maybe since you're the youngest, I want you to start us off and start off by saying, I, Zoe. Okay. <clears throat> I, Zoe, promise not to lie, cheat, or steal from my family. I will always tell you when I'm not doing okay, and I will ask if I can help if I see someone else is not okay. Daddy? Yeah. I promise to make you proud so that you never have to look away when someone mentions my name like Adrian's dad. Oh. Hey. Um, pick me. <laughs> Who's Adrian? Yeah. I heard she's a stripper friend. She's not a stripper. She's a go-go dancer. Oh, well, that's good news. Thank you. Lord, I hope somebody promised to stay on one subject at a time. <laughs> Would you please continue? <laughs> yeah. Um, and Mom, I promise to listen to you and always take your advice. Wesley? Well, that's all I got. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, baby. You're next. <clears throat> all right. I, Wesley, promise to be the strong, confident leader that my pops has always encouraged me to be. I promise to stay focused in school. I promise to always put my family first and appreciate every little thing like a repair of brand new kicks. That's it. Aaliyah. I don't have a card. <laughs> I, Aaliyah, promise to always love my family unconditionally. I promise to be there whenever I'm needed, even when I'm not. And Jay, mm. I will never let anything come between our love, and that includes our alien monster teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> she just called us aliens. Mm -hmm. She wasn't talking about me now. You, on the other hand, probably. <laughs> Jay? Yeah, yeah. Would you please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I.J. <clears throat> promise to be the protector and the provider for this family. I will be there for you individually, whenever you need, and never look at anyone as an inconvenience or bother. I will always communicate my feelings and not keep them bottled up. <clears throat> communicate. I need to add that to mine. <laughs> I will also make sure that I don't interrupt my wife while she's speaking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's OK, baby. Aaliyah, I promise to put you first, right behind God. I will respect your voice, your opinions, and your suggestions. I will respect it all because I love you. I love you. 
I love all of you. Okay? Dad, that was so sweet. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Nana, what about your vows? Oh, yes. Can you please promise that you will make us uh, dessert every week, even when we go off to school? <clears throat> I promise that I will go off on anybody that doesn't keep their vows. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nana, give us some real vows. Well, yeah. I promise to remind this family God can do anything, anything. Oh, 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 say. <laughs>
이렇게 여기 있어. 